Hello, so to kick things off, I'm obviously going to pour a pint. I used to work in a pub. But it's been a very long time since I've done it. 45 degree angle, I think. Leveling off, you don't want too much of a head. How's that? Pretty good. I don't actually like beer. Yeah, there's a reason I don't like beer. And now we're going to start the taste test. Cheers. Hello, British Vogue. I'm Olivia Coleman, and this is the ultimate British taste test. I'm quite nervous, Andrew. I'm going to put this on my lap because I know I'm going to dribble. Okay, I'm ready. Bring on the food. There's no going back now. Thank you. Okay, can't see anything. It's got celery. Is it? Bloody Mary. That's a very nice one. Yay! I love a Bloody Mary and I think it's probably the best hangover cure. Medically, maybe that's not true, but it does make you feel much better. Okay. Hot. Ooh, small. Oh, I feel like I recognise that smell. Oh, Scotch egg. Yum it. That's a good one. Or oh, mustard. <laughs> or pickle lily. Yay! Oh, I do know the best Scotch egg I've ever had. Our lovely nanny is an amazing cook. Made little quails Scotch eggs. She just had some leftover stuff and made it. When I did the bear, I turned up on Sunday night, filmed on Monday and had to leave Monday night. I just peeled mushrooms for 10 hours. I think they were all surprised at what a massive hit it had been. So they were all sort of really buzzy and genuinely terribly passionate about food and restaurant life, but I learned absolutely nothing. Oh, it's warm. What the hell is that? Is that pizza? It's a funny shape. <laughs> oh no, that's a fish. I can smell it now, it's closer to my face. Tartar sauce. Chips, yummy. Can I just bite a whole lump of fish? Oh. Fish and chips. That's mushy peas I put my fingers in. Best fish and chips is French's on Wells Quay. Uh, my granddad was born above that, and I think that just makes it taste better. They're comfort food, they're everything. They're winter and summer. Love fish and chips. A lot of the people I play eat food. Queen Anne ate a lot of food. She ate a lot of cake which made her sick. <laughs> My experience of The Crown, I think when it first came out, it was so widely advertised, it sort of made the rebellious side of me go, I'm not watching that because everyone's making me watch it. And then I watched it and loved it. Whenever we had scenes when the whole pretend royal family were together, we just had a ball. So I was being paid to go and have a giggle every day. It was lovely. At the moment, I'm slightly obsessed with Married at First Sight. Why did you laugh? Oh no, what? Is it soup? That's gravy. I can smell the gravy. Oh, one, two, three. What? Sausages, bangers and mash. Gravy with a fork, stupid. It's yummy. Who makes all these? Not you. Bangers and mash, again. I think British food's mainly for comfort, isn't it? In Norfolk, there was a company called Krask who did sausages that were slightly peppery and I loved them and we even had them when we got married. We had bangers and mash when we got married, I've just remembered. Yeah, I do like bangers and mash. When Peep Show came to know, we did nine series. Everyone was ready for it to stop when it stopped. And we'd had the best time. We'd sort of all grown up through it and got other jobs through it. In the early days, I'd mainly get Peep Show! People shouting at me. And I don't know what you're meant to reply to that. Uh, pedestrian. And I, I generally don't go out now, so I don't get that anymore. <laughs> okay. Yorkshire pudding. This is a roast, isn't it? Chicken, what's that? Carrot, ooh, quite right, bendy. Potato. That's a lovely potato. I'd happily just eat this with my blindfold on. Yay! Oh, I'm so pleased I missed that. I love Sunday roasts. I feel very strongly about them. I think my husband does the best Sunday roast ever. And cauliflower cheese. 
Oh. But my main thing is the veggies, roast potatoes. Gravy, we have a jug in the fridge called the mother gravy, which we keep adding to each week. So it's really strong and delicious. I mean, you know, if, if I needed to survive, I'd eat parsnips, but they're not my favorite. I hate melon and I hate cucumber. Pointless. This is gross, but to me, they taste a bit like someone else's sort of ill mucus. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Oh, that's my mouth. Oh. You have to leave me here for a while now. Sticky toffee pudding, isn't it? Mm. That is pretty good. <laughs> and is that custard with it or cream? Mm. It's my favourite pudding. Mm. I'm more of a savoury tooth person. I'd rather have a starter than a pudding, but sticky toffee. Oh, tea and pudding. It's a perfect cup of tea. Amelia Clark and I were asked of this. I love Amelia, but her idea of a proper cup of tea. No. Oat milk for a start, which, you know, each to their own. And I understand if you're trying not to eat any animal products, it doesn't make for the perfect cup of tea. She puts oat milk in first and then does the tea. No, it should be strong tea, Yorkshire gold, aces. And tea has been made with boiling water. It's not like coffee. Coffee doesn't need to be boiling. Tea does need to be boiling. And somebody wants it and said, oh, it scorches the tea. Bollocks. You're meant to put boiling water on tea and the tea bags are made like that. So it brings out all the flavor. Give it a good squeeze. I'm a bag in the cup girl because it's quicker. A little bit of milk. Heartstopper was a joyous thing to be part of. Aros, the director I knew before from Broadchurch. And he emailed and said, would you do this little thing called Heartstopper? And I went, that looks gorgeous. Yes, please. Just a lovely thing to be part of. A really inclusive set. The coming out scene was just, I struggled to get through it because it was so lovely and emotional. We spent most of our time in, it was a little cul-de-sac of houses and one of the houses was empty and they let us use it as our green room. And we just hung out in there, had lunch together. I promise acting is a lot harder than I'm making it sound, actually. It's not. It's actually not. I'm not a very good cook. And my kids, <laughs> you see their faces falling and they go, where's daddy? He's working. Oh, I think they know that mommy's got to make something up out of the fridge. I mean, I'm all right with pasta. As long as we've got tin tomatoes in the house, I can always do something. Puttanesca? Yeah, I'm not great. Beans on toast, mushrooms on toast. Tuna mayonnaise on toast. Oh, tomatoes on toast. Mmm. Go-to snack uh, would be toast. I really enjoyed the ultimate British taste test and I think I nailed it. Apart from the um, thinking the fish was pizza. So we're all sworn to secrecy in this room. We will never talk about it again. Thank you, British Vogue, for having me and for giving me all that lovely food in the ultimate British taste test. It's a fucking brilliant pint though, isn't it? Look at that. Who does like beer? No, I'm excited, I'm nervous. I don't know these people. They might give me horrible things to eat. The funniest thing in the world is when my husband falls over. You know when someone you love has a total donkey moment and trips over or bangs her head. It's hilarious. That's awful, isn't it? Apparently, if you block your nose and bite an onion, it can taste like an apple. What? Oh, that's that's nice. That's a softer one, isn't it? Nah. How long have we got? Nah. That's it! Oh! See, she's a chef! Lydia. My style in general is comfy. I do love pretty heels on the odd occasion, but mainly I like trainers and jeans. I think we've got a few pounds. I can still get a job in a pub. <laughs>